Well, a good Sunday to you. Thanks for finding us here at Fox 26. I'm meteorologist John Dawson. This is our tropical update, and yes, we are tracking the tropics. Nothing in the Pacific, I mean, nothing in the Atlantic right now. And as a matter of fact, there's nothing in the Eastern Pacific specifically, but we got a couple things to talk about. Hang in with me here as we kind of review. First of all, Christy, out. We had a advisory at 8 a.m. or 10 a.m. Central Time Sunday morning. National Hurricane Center is saying no longer tropical, no longer going to be something that they're concerned with. So Christy was that Category 5 hurricane for a while, uh, and it was originally a storm over in the in the Atlantic. Nadine that crossed over the Yucatan Peninsula and, and southern Mexico and made a landfall in Belize and then into the Pacific became a powerful hurricane. But it is over with now the Atlantic Basin right now is quiet, but that's not expected to last much more than 48 hours or so. So a couple more days we are looking for some potential development. So officially now the National Hurricane Center identifying our orange shaded area here in the Caribbean, giving it a 40% chance that a tropical cyclone could develop in this. Now that's in the three to seven day time period in the next two days, not expecting anything to happen. And one of the reasons why is it just doesn't take a whole lot of actual swirl to start taking place when you have the waters that are this warm to really get help that organization take place and especially when those upper level winds are also cooperating. So as I mentioned or as I showed you, this is the area that we're watching. This is getting a little bit more towards the central Caribbean, but for sure that western southwestern portion where we're looking at and at the moment we'll switch to one of our computer modeling. This is the GFS of the American model and notice we got all the way to here Tuesday. Nothing really showing any signs of development, but as we get into Halloween, that seems to be the time frame Wednesday, specifically Thursday, when we do start to expect to see a little bit of that swirl taking place. And at the moment it does look like this is going to want to track more or less to the northeast once it forms and start making its way out to the Atlantic. So the next name on the list would be Patty. I don't think we're going to get anything before that. So we'll be watching for the potential for Patty to develop here again around the end of October. That Halloween time period we will continue to see the computer models becoming a little bit more organized, kind of in more agreement with what's happening. For sure, we're not expecting this system to get into the Gulf of Mexico because, of course, where Florida is based, sort of hanging on the edge of the Gulf of Mexico and into the Atlantic. I'm not going to rule them out at the moment, but not looking favored necessarily for a Florida impacts as well. Certainly everybody in the Caribbean and then as we get into the Bahamas uh, and out into the US in uh, British Virgin Islands, that sort of area uh, of the Atlantic is also something that needs to be concerned with. So I know we've got a lot of international followers here that check us out on YouTube. Uh, also, we've got our website and Fox local or other ways to stay connected with us. We'll continue to be here every day of hurricane season. So even once we get into November, we're still going to be here daily 4 p.m. Central Time giving you the latest. And right now our focus is on that development that we do expect later in the upcoming week. So make sure to check back with us. And in the meantime, enjoy the rest of the weekend.